I just wanted the nuts and bolts of yes. what involved yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the leg lengthening. It involves uh, a medieval-sounding device called an Elazarov, <laughs> Elazarov frame, an adjustable apparatus that is wrapped around the lower part of a patient's leg, ankle, to knee, oh. like scaffolding erected around a townhome. The patient's leg is then broken, and the apparatus's series of pins pierce the leg, mm-hmm. jamming through skin and muscle mm-hmm. until they are fixed to the bone itself, where they remain for months, holding the severed bones in place, slightly further apart, uh, or farther apart. I think it's further. Is it further or farther? For, for, uh, I think they're interchangeable. I do remember that uh, the Ford commercial used to be go farther, then they changed it to go further. Because people were making it say go far. Yeah, and then now you got to go EV, right? Yeah. I'll go with the way that uh, GQ wrote right. it. Slightly farther apart, then they'd naturally be positioned so that new bone tissue uh, grows to fill the gap. After spending months bedridden, a patient with, say, a shorter left leg could miraculously find himself with two legs uh, of more or less the same. How leg. long must it take for two inches of bone matter to grow, though? Months. That's why. Yeah, they, uh, but I mean they that takes but forever. But now there's different techniques. You could also, uh, it, if you've ever, have you ever shimmed something? Yeah. Yeah. So imagine <laughs> this type of, this type of the effort of just multiple shims going it's into each shimming. leg. Shimming. So 